In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to generate normally distributed random numbers using data analysis tool pack available in Excel. So let us get started. For this purpose, first we need to go to data, then data analysis. You have a lot of options. Out of these options, you need to click on random number generation. Then click OK. Then this dialog box will appear. It will first ask you the number of variables. So we want the random number to be generated for only one variable. So I'll put one here. And then it will ask how many random numbers do you want Excel to generate? Let us say we want 10,000 random numbers. You can give any number as per your choice. Then you'll have to define the distribution. How those numbers should be distributed. You have a lot of options, normal, Bernoulli, binomial, Poisson, patterned, discrete, and we want normal distribution. So you can just select normal. And then you have to define the parameters of the normal distribution. You all know that normal distribution is a parametric distribution and it is basically defined by two parameters, mean and standard deviation, right? So you have to specify the mean. If you don't specify by default, Excel will take a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. Let us say we want the mean to be five lakh and standard deviation to be 4,000. Again, you can give any number of your choice for these two parameters, right? Then the next is the output option. Let us say we want the output to be generated in a new sheet. Okay, so click new worksheet. Fine. Once that is done, you can click OK. Now you can see in a new sheet, the output is generated. So you have got 10,000 randomly distributed or 10,000 random number which are normally distributed. Okay. Now, once you have got the numbers, you can just click on the first row, then right click and then insert a new row and let us name these variable x. Okay. So now you have got 10,000 random numbers which are normally distributed for the variable x. So this is how you can generate normally distributed random numbers for any variable. Now let us see whether this variable x has got the properties of normal distribution or not. And we will check that with the help of descriptive statistics and will also visualize it with the help of histogram, right? So to do that, that means to first have the descriptive statistics for this variable x, what we can do, we can again go to data, then data analysis, then we can click on descriptive statistics, then click OK. Again, here you have to just define the input range. So my input range is A1, then control shift down arrow, that will select the whole thing grouped by columns that is correct and levels in first row you have to tick and output range let us have the output in c1 right let us have the output in c1 and we click the summary statistics because i am looking for the descriptive statistics right once done you click on ok so this will give you the descriptive statistics for the variable x. Now we know that if a variable is normally distributed, then its kartosis, which is basically the excess kartosis, has to be zero. 
right and you can see it's very close to zero you won't get exactly equal to zero because these are all randomly generated numbers and every time you try and generate numbers these numbers you will get a different set of numbers so you won't get the exact zero but very close to zero and we also know that the skewness of a variable which is normally distributed is zero and here also you can see you are getting a very close to zero as skewness correct and here you might be wondering why the sum is being displayed in this way you just need to format this cell control 1 and you can change this to number right once you change this to number this problem will be sorted out okay next what we will do we will just plot the histogram for this variable x and we will see how it looks like ideally it should look like a bell shaped curve right so for that again you go to data then data analysis then click on histogram click ok your output range comes later first let us put the input range so input range is a1 control shift down arrow bin range you can just let excel select the bin range automatically since you have levels in the first row so click on levels and let us say we want the output to generate in this sheet itself say somewhere in f1 okay and you can click on chart output if it is not already clicked and finally you can click ok so now you have got the chart output and the corresponding histogram you can just expand this little more so that you have a better view you can just remove this frequency part so that your histogram becomes bigger and you can see this histogram looks like almost a bell shaped curve right and that is how ideally the histogram of a variable which is normally distributed should look like.